In addition to what Sid offered you about me, I'm also the co-chair with Charles Ogletree, who is a fellow member of our law school faculty, of the Internet Society Conference that's coming up at the end of this year. Uh, the subject of that conference, the question that's on the table, is what is the place of a university in cyberspace? It's a question that when people hear it, many immediately think that it's about online education and think University of Phoenix. But that's a very dismissive view of the question. It's, it's a question about the place of university in cyberspace, with university conceived not just as Harvard University, but as something that's equal in the cyber environment to government, to for-profit corporate. University is a player in that space. It's a conference that offers a, a symmetry as its core idea, a symmetry between university and cyberspace. In some sense, its conception is that each is foundational to the other. Each, in its way, is the environment of the other. In a sense, the cyber environment was an expression of university. And I feel so strongly, having seen it come out of nowhere, that it doesn't exist until you build it. And we're still very much in the process of building it. And university, to me, is an abstraction. It's a word. It's a concept. It's something that offers the essence of all of the set of universities that it covers. It has at its core values of openness, of sharing. One can dispute it. One can say over history it hasn't always been so, and yet I would say the trajectory of university has been to be as open as its environment permits. And to me, one of the real excitements of the Internet environment is that it offers an inflection point in communications environments. It's a point at which it becomes possible for willing energies to aggregate and to produce quite remarkable results. And so to me, the two, university and cyberspace, very much go together. And in some sense, thinking about them together is a key to protecting and developing each one of them. So all right, I founded the Berkman Center for Internet and Society. Internet. This thing that's mutable, this thing that's amazing as we've seen it develop, is vulnerable. It's vulnerable to very large forces, forces of government, forces of for-profit corporate. Government into filtering, into regulating, for profit into creating impediments, toll booths, places at which people have to stop and pay a transactional fee, slow it down. So when I look to the future of the net and I see these massive institutional forces becoming increasingly sophisticated about the net, I worry for it. I worry that as that sophistication grows, those institutions will figure out ways to encroach and make their values the ones expressed in the net. And so when I ask strategically, what would be the best possible protection for the net into the future? To me, the answer is university. If university came to see the net as its environment and began to pour out its content into the net and see it as an expression of itself, 
then there would be truly a body of usage under the net that would be global, totally respected, and that I think would have the muscle to stand up in ways that I worry about if university doesn't galvanize. So then I turn around and look at university. What is the library of university? To me, the library of university is the net. The future library of university is net. And so the idea of being able to come and speak to this group of librarians at a time when we're looking forward to putting this conference together with a new president of Harvard just having been named and with one of her first and most major duties being to select a new librarian for the university. It seems just an awesomely propitious time, a time of great potential opportunity and responsibility. Google. Google. Fear of Google. 